What's happening, good people? I'm bringing sexy back. And by that, I don't mean my wife. If you remember from our previous video, we highlighted this guitar stand that we did. If not, you should check it out. It was made by Stritch. Well, they sent me an amp stand. So why not review it? For those of you that don't know, the benefits of having an amp stand, it overall improves the quality of your sound, especially in an area like this where you have carpet, less likely the amp is gonna be, the sound is gonna be absorbed into the carpet itself. Another thing it does, it closely will reproduce the sound of the amp, being that it's not laying on any particular type of material. Now it's gonna be really more contacting the stand itself. So whatever kind of venue you have it in, it'll also help with that sound accuracy. Along with that is the sound consistency that it provides from moving it from place to place. If you have it laying on carpet and then you go to a venue that has a stage that is kind of hollow or you're playing on a concrete area, you'll have it dialed in to what your sound is in all those places and it's most likely gonna resemble what you're hearing. Another benefit is sound dispersal. It'll actually, most times they're aimed up higher or they're, they're aimed up in an angle, or you could take it and actually spin it around in a corner and get a different type of sound coming out of it. Now the speaker isn't being on the floor aimed at everybody's feet, it's gonna be more aimed toward their ears. It'll also have easier access, most times if they are raised up high enough to the control knobs, you don't have to bend down. Even if it's kind of slightly just off the floor, they're angled to a point where you don't have to bend over so much and adjust the controls pretty easily. It could save space on the stage because you're lifting it up and if the feet kind of disperse the weight down, it may take up a smaller footprint and you have more area to move around. Or if you need to kind of put something underneath the amp, now you have that little space to yourself. If you're at home, it's also a good way of keeping it up off the floor in case you're playing in a basement area where you might have a hot water heater that breaks, you catch it in time and it doesn't you know, flood the floor too much, doesn't get up all the way to the amp, you save yourself whatever the cost of the amp is. If you're in an apartment complex, you'll have happier neighbors because it won't be resting on the floor now, so you won't have to play it at higher levels. It'll be more aimed towards your ears and also the, the sound of it going down, absorbing through the floor will be less. And also for cleaning purposes, your wife won't have to have you lift it up every single time and vacuum underneath it, and it'll be easy for you to clean. So it's a major selling point to the uh, spouses around. Are you really cleaning up around me while I'm filming this video? Are you gonna keep on spending our life savings on this silly little YouTube thing you got going on here? Touche, keep on cleaning. All right, well, let's unbox this thing. Again, I'd like to thank Stritch for sending me this stand. They didn't tell me I had to say anything. Again, like you know, all opinions are my own. And it's pretty cool, it's already set up. Pretty easy, there was no instructions. So easy that even I could do it. Really to highlight this, I'm not gonna run a microphone to the amp itself. We're just gonna go through the, the microphone that I have set up in front of the camera. And I'll play it first without the amp stand and then after with the amp stand this one is currently rated enough for this amp it's just slightly over 50 pounds so i think this will handle it very well that's one thing to consider the overall the weight of the amp probably would like to get something that you know exceeds the weight of the amp itself but this could be good for something that's like a cabinet that doesn't have the amp head in it where it adds the extra weight and just literally speakers in the cabinet Let's do a quick little sample, see if you notice the difference.
I hope that kind of came across on the uh, microphone over here because it sounds a world of a difference in the room and to my ears. When you're normally hearing me playing, it's normally mic'd up a little bit far away. So if I were to do that here, it probably would, it would have a little bit of a different effect and we'll probably see that in future videos. I don't know if I would keep this actual amp stand though again because it said that the amp according to Sweetwater weighs 50.4 pounds and this can handle up to 50 pounds. I'd kind of like to have something that can handle a little bit more. So erring on the side of caution, but let me know what you thought about the sound overall. If you'd be interested in one of these things, there's going to be links down in the description where you can buy one of these. And there's also different models. So just check it out.